Yeah. So let us start with the first question. So it is related to the magnification basically. So let us uh, discuss this and finish it. So a drawing of a cell is 80 mm in length and the magnification is uh, 200 times. What is the actual size of a cell? So that is what they are asking. So magnification is 200, uh, 200 times it is bigger and the cell size is basically 80 mm. Then what is the original size they are asking? So anybody? Yes, please. Two hundred times it is greater. So, what is the original size they are asking? Yes, please. So, the drawing divided by magnification. If you do it, we'll get the original size. Now, what is the drawing size, everybody? What is the size of the drawing? Eighty mm. And if you divide with magnification, it will give you the original size, original size uh, of the cell. So 80 divided by 200, so 8 ones are, so 2 table you can take, 2 fours are, 2 tens are, so 2 twos are, 2 fives are. So 2 by 5 mm, 2 by 5 mm means how much everybody, anybody? 0 0.4. 0 0.4. That is the original size of the things. Related to magnification. So generally, based upon the size and the magnification, we will find the original uh, actual size of the cell. Like uh, the drawing size divided by the magnification will give you the actual size. Even uh, case study questions in uh, lens as uh, reflection of light, there is a question related to this. So that is also I will show you. Next, the diagram represents a four similar animal cells immersed in blood plasma. The black dots represents molecules of dissolved oxygen. So which cell will have oxygen molecules diffusing into it most rapidly? That is what they are asking. So most rapidly in which cell we are noticing oxygen is uh, diffusing into it most rapidly. That is what they are asking. The black dots represents molecules of dissolved oxygen. Molecules of dissolved oxygen. Which cell will have oxygen molecules diffusing into it most rapidly? So if it is most rapidly diffusing means it must have a more oxygen or less oxygen everybody. Rapid diffusion. Yes, please. If the availability of oxygen is more, then the diffusion is also more. Like forcefully, fastly and forcefully it will be diffusing. That is what we used to say is rapid diffusion. So now in this given figures, in which cell have a greater amount of oxygen? Everybody? Yes, please. A, B, C, D, four figures we have. In which figure you are seeing that? It is greater oxygen. Option C. See, wherever we are having a greater amount of substance, there the diffusion rate will be also higher. That is what we used to say is rapid diffusion. So now, now you see that cell, cell A, a, cell B, and cell C, and as well as cell D. So cell A already inside a cell, lot of oxygen is there. So outside very less oxygen. So you can see that almost it is a balanced, like inside more concentration than outside. Second also same, D also same. But the option C you see that inside a high concentration or outside high concentration, everybody? Yes, please. Outside. Outside, outside high concentration. So inside to outside to inside, very low, like lot of difference in the concentration. So that what will happen? Oxygen will be diffuses very rapidly from the outside to inside. So that is why option C is the correct one. Are you clear everybody? Do you understand? Ma? So generally root, we all notice it. When there is already pressure, if root pressure is greater, then what will happen? The surrounding water will falsely, it will be diffuses into the root. 
if already inside there is amount of water or liquid and outside also there is very less difference then slowly it will be absorbing because absorption rate will increases or diffusion rate will increases when there is a greater amount of difference in the concentrations so that is what you have to remember clear this question everybody understand please respond guys that is what so next which row shows the elements that occur in all the proteins they are saying which row shows the elements that occur in all the proteins carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen which row represents proteins proteins are made up of amino acids am i right everybody yes please yes sir so amino acids contains what they contains everything they contains carbon hydrogen nitrogen and as well as oxygen they all con they contains everything inside that that's what it is what, which row shows the elements that occur in all the proteins every protein they contains carbon hydrogen nitrogen and as well as oxygen that is what so note it if you don't know also you please remember that next <laughs> The flow diagram shows the three stages in testing green leaf for starch. This is from your experiment, your textbook only. 1, 2, 3, 4 are all liquids. Now, first boiling water to kill the leaf, boiling alcohol to remove the chlorophyll, warm water to wash the leaf, iodine solution, white uh, tile. So that is what is the four stages. Now, what are the colors of liquid 2 and 4 for a leaf that contains starch? What are the colors of liquid 2? Liquid 2, what is a liquid 2 here? Boiling alcohol to remove the chlorophyll. And 4 for a leaf that contains starch. 4. So what are the colors anybody? <laughs> what happened? Chlorophyll will remove means alcohol will turn up into what? What is the color of the alcohol? We have studied also this one. Alcohol will turn up into what? When chlorophyll is removed. Green color. Do you all remember or not? Please respond. That pictures also we studied. So then, after that, now iodine solution, it will turn into what? When it is a contains a starch. If it contains a starch, it will turn up into what, guys? Blue black. Color of the, how you can identify starch is present or not? Blue black. So what is the option? A. A. The chloro alcohol will turn up into green because of chlorophyll is mixed with that. Then iodine, if the presence of starch, it will be turned up into blue and as well as black. That is what it is. They are asking the colors. This is the direct question from experiment. The diagrams also you have drawn in the classwork. Am I right? Everybody? That experiment fully? Photosynthesis extraction of that you can see. Prove that it is containing. Am I right? All can verify it. Next. A person is diagnosed with a scurvy. The table shows the content of vitamin C, vitamin D and calcium and iron for four different foods. Which food should be the person's eat to help reduce uh, scurvy? So that is what they are asking. So anybody? Scurvy is a disease actually. Yes, please. Yes, scurvy means you can see that the teeth uh, start swelling. You all notice that that uh, skin above the teeth will start swelling and it is very painful. So it is mainly because of something. Anybody? Yes. Scurvy is mainly because of lack of vitamin C. So please note it. This is actually diseases you will be study, but I think ninth class it will come. So when the long time, if you are not consuming any vitamin C related food, so it will leads to scurvy disease. So like loosened teeth, it may fall out also. Teeth will fall out and uh, uh, swollen, uh, swollen legs, uh, like, uh, like different varieties of uh, symptoms, you can notice it. Long period of time, if you are not taking vitamin, then definitely it will leads to 
scurvy disease. This is one of the common disease we can notice nutrition deficiency. So this is the uh, major disease we can notice it. So majorly our food contains vitamin C, then we can uh, help to reduce the scurvy. So that's why option B, it is not there for you, but still just have a glance and make it. Next question. So this is very important question. You all should uh, have, everybody has to make it. This is digestion process, elementary canal. So the statement is about a chemical digestion. Physical, physical digestion will take place where guys? Physical digestion. Physical digestion takes place where? Mouth. Mouth. Of course, physical digestion, mouth, both physical plus as well as what? Mouth, physical plus chemical digestion chemical. will take place. But now they are talking about only chemical digestion. Means inside, inside alimentary canal. So now if you have been taken, in the alimentary canal, chemical digestion takes place in order to produce dash, one, two, and as well as molecules so that they can be three. So which words correctly uh, complete the gaps 1, 2, 3? Very, very good question. You have an entire idea about the digestion only you can answer this. Otherwise, it is not possible. So I want to answer from the people. Everybody try to answer at least one question out of 40. Take a part. That's what, that is a change I will expect always. Anybody? Yeah. Yes, please. In order to produce, in alimentary canal, chemical digestion takes place in order to produce what? A first. All of you? Chemical digestion. Who will be, who will produce guys? Chemical digestion. Yes. Nobody? What is the purpose of my chemical digestion? It will break it and it will make it into small, 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 soluble or insoluble? Small, soluble. Small, soluble or insoluble? Soluble and then will lice, finger like will lice, what they will do? With the help of that, blood will absorb the digested That's food. Am I right or wrong? That's all. So, in the alimentary canal, chemical digestion takes place in order to produce small, soluble molecule so that they can be what? Observed. Observe. I think this statement also there in the NCRT. Am I right, Hari? You'll be having it. Definitely. I think small intestine after digestion of small intestine. Is it right? Blood capillaries will come to the near to the villis and they will be absorbed the digested food. Is it sorry? Yes. You can verify. That's what. So this is a good question. Please make it. Remember it. You must have a complete. It's a very simple question. But the thing is, the way they are representing is different. That's all. Nothing else is there. Next. The diagram shows a car, uh, sorry, a cross section of a plant stem. Which labeled indicates the tissue responsible for the transport of water through the plant? A, B, C, D. Four representations. Again, similar question. Anybody? Which is representing the which is representing which label indicates the tissue responsible for the transport of water? Transport of water means we all know that. What is that everybody? Yes, please. Transport of water. What is that guys? All of you? <laughs> Transport of water, who am I? Xylem. Am I right or wrong? Please respond. Everybody? So, plant stem uh, cross section. You all can see that. I'll, of course, you are having in your uh, things. Now you can notice it. This is what is the figure of uh, cross section. Uh, where is that? Yeah. Have you all noticed it, everybody? Now you all see that and tell me. So which is that? Xylem and phloem. Now this figure you all remember. Everybody? Anybody? Pith, xylem, inside or outside? Have you noticed it? The circle is there. Have you checked it, everybody, now? 
Xylem, where it is there? Inside or outside? Here also, in this figure also, you can notice it. Yes, please. All of you? Xylem. You all can notice. Is there or not? Visible or not? Is it visible, Amma? Boys, this is the xylem and the phloem is the next one. Have you noticed it? Now you can observe and you can tell me. So what is the answer? Which is the xylem? Transport of water through the plant. Anybody? They are asking us to identify A, B, C, D. So what is the correct answer? Option D, sir. Option D. So this is the xylem. And option A is the what? Phloem. Make it. Please note it. That is good actually. You should learn. Next. Which equation represents uh, aerobic respiration? Aerobic respiration. What is the equation? Fastly tell me guys. Aerobic respiration. Carbon dioxide plus water. Water. Yes. What are the effects of increased adrenaline production in humans? That is what they are asking. Adrenaline production in humans. So, they are asking increase the rate of breathing and increase the pulse rate. Increase the rate of breathing and uh, narrower pupil. Slower pulse rate and narrower pupil. Slower pulse rate and wider pupil. So, what is the answer? Only option A is matching because both the changes will take place. Am I right or wrong, everybody? Yes, yes. Okay. Rate of breathing will increase and as well as pulse rate, heartbeat also increases. Option A. Next. Yes. Please take it. This is related to heredity question. So now, like sexual and asexual reproduction. The diagram shows a parent plant. So this is the parent plant. Which offspring has been produced by asexual Asexual reproduction from this plant. Everybody? Asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction means what? What do you mean by asexual reproduction? What do you mean by asexual reproduction? Anybody? No variations. Yeah. Variations are minimized. Minimum variation. So what is a flower? It's which is with the minimum variations. You can see that. Everyone? A. A. Option A. Yes. So... Option A. Because parent, the asexual reproduction means you have to remember mainly they are similar to the whom? Everyone. They are similar to the parent. That is what you have to remember it. Next. The diagram shows the male reproductive system. What is transported by the sperm duct and as well as urethra? They are asking the functions. Make it fast. Everybody. What is the sperm duct? Sperm duct will carry what, guys? Yes, please. Sperm duct will carry only what? Male reproductive cells. That is what we used to call it as a sperms. But urethra is what is a function? Urethra is having a two functions. One is to ejaculate the sperms and as well as from the bladder. From the bladder, what will come? Everybody. Urine also. So for both... There is a single passage in male and that is what we used to say. So, sperm duct will carry the sperm and as well as urethra carries semen and as well as urine. Both it will be carrying. So that is what you have to make that. So why in sperm duct it is only sperm but after it is reaching to the glands so it will be turned up into semen. Means it will be like fluids will be added, chemicals will be added to that so that it will be turned up into semen. So that is what it is. Urethra carries both semen and as well as urine. So that's what you have to remember. Next, related to our environment. The diagram shows a food web. All of you observe the food web. Everybody. The, how many species are primary consumers in this food web? See, many, food, many our environment questions we solved. But... Asking the count, till now there is no question. I don't think so. You have solved and uh, I never, I too also never thought. Am I right? Have you solved, Hari? Any question like number of animals? I think one question we solved, calculating uh, producers long back. Am I right? Yes, sir. Same can be done, sir. Yeah, yeah. That uh, can be, yeah. The, in that we solved it. Correct. 
So, but the similar questions, there is not. So, the, now they are asking, how many primary consumers in this food web they are asking? Primary consumers means what? Who will eat the plants? So, how many primary consumers are there? Anybody? Yes? All of you? Five, sir. Five. Because see, tree. Tree will be eaten by the caterpillar and as well as beetle. Flowers. Wild flowers will be eaten by the what? This, what is that? Forget a name. That, what is an English name? I forgot. says. Yeah, so whatever. Then, grass will be eaten by the ant and as well as goat. So, totally how many are there? Yes, please. Five. Five. Make it. Uh, grasshopper. I forget the name. Grasshopper. Next. Which process takes carbon dioxide out of the air? Combustion, decomposition, photosynthesis and plant respiration. Anybody? Which process will takes which process will takes carbon dioxide out of there means removing of carbon dioxide. Which process will take guys? Who will use the carbon dioxide? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, it needs carbon dioxide to carry out correct guys. That's all they are asking. Nothing else is there. So photosynthesis. Next, a fixed mass of argon gas in a sealed container is heated. A fixed mass of argon gas in a sealed container is heated. The pressure inside the container increases. What statement explain why the pressure is increases? That is what they are asking. So it is related to ideal gas. Uh, ideal gas. So we all know argon is a noble gas or we can say it is the ideal gas. So now if you keep it inside a closed uh, container then if you start heating, they are saying that pressure is increasing. So, what is the reason? Anybody? Yes, please. Now, you people might be not studied, but it will be coming basically class 8, sorry, class 9. So, remember the pressure, even class 11th also it will come again. So, the gas which is present inside is not defines the pressure of a gas. It will defines only number of collisions which is making the number of collisions per second or per unit area is only defines the pressure if more number of collisions more pressure less number of pressure collisions less pressure on the walls of the container walls of the container based upon the number of collisions only the pressure of a gas will be decided so when we are keep on heating so what will happen the temperature, kinetic energy of the particles increases so that the collisions among themselves and as well as collisions between the walls of the container is increases. So that's why the pressure is also increases. Because number of collisions increases, automatically the pressure is rises. So that's why there is an increase in the number of collisions per second between the particles of gas and as well as walls of the container. So 11th again it will come because you are going to study kinetic theory of gases. 9th there is a statement. 11th there is a chapter. Kinetic theory. Physics it will come. Volume 2 physics. Chapter number 12 I think. So kinetic theory. So by the time you will get this one. So number of collision. The pressure of a gas is based upon the number of collisions among the gas particles and as well as at, uh, between the walls of the container. That is what we used to call it as a pressure. So we'll calculate there even a formula also. Next. What is the example of physical change? Last year board exam this question came. I told you some of the toppers they made a mistake. What are the examples of chemical change they asked there? But now here they are asking physical change. They are unable to identify and they lost the mark. It is it's a very simple question. Anybody? Carbon dioxide turning lime water into milky, the crystallization of copper sulfate from solution, 
electrolysis of molten lead bromide, the thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate, which is a physical change. Anybody? Yes, please. You might be studied eighth class. Copper sulfate crystals, SuSO4 crystals, just will start heating to the temperature. After that, we'll give it for cooling so that we can notice the copper sulfate crystals. So it is a what? Everybody. Physical or chemical? Remaining all you check. Carbon dioxide turns water into milky. So it is a chemical. Electrolysis of molten lead bromide. Chemical. Decomposition is a chemical change. So what is the answer? Only the crystallization process. Crystallization is a purification process. So purification is a physical process or chemical process? Everybody. It is the physical process. Please remember that. So crystallization is a physical process. So we are just to obtain the pure substances, we will use this method. So nothing else is there. So next, which row about the elements and compounds is correct? Ninth class you will study chapter number two. Is matter around us pure? There we will get it. Elements, compounds and as well as mixtures. Homozygous mixture, heterozygous mixture and all. Anybody? Elements. Their elements means what? Their metals as well as non-metals and compounds. They contains what? Compounds mean. Suppose I'll say carbon dioxide compound, sodium chloride compound. One is ionic compound, another one is covalent compound. Now what will happen? Everybody. Option D. Option D. So elements are metals and non-metals and as well as they contain ionic and as well as covalent bonds. So that's all. Next, next question is a very good question and important question. So please mark it. Dilute sulfuric acid is electrolyzed using inert electrodes. Which statement is correct? Dilute electro sulfuric acid is electrolyzed using inert electrodes. Which statement is correct? Hydrogen is produced at the anode. <laughs> Both hydrogen and oxygen are produced at the negative electrode. Sulfur dioxide is produced at the cathode. Oxygen is produced at the positive electrode. So what is the correct statement? Anybody? Dilute Option. sulfuric acid is used in inert electrodes. That is what they are saying. So dilute electrodic means what will happen everybody? Hydrogen is a positive charge and anode is also positive charge. Is it possible? Positive again will come at the positive? No. Second, both hydrogen and oxygen are produced at the negative electrode. No, it is impossible. Sulfur dioxide is produced at the cathode. Sulfur dioxide, gas production, we have get either oxy hydrogen and as well as oxygen. So now oxygen is produced at the positive electrode. Positive electrode means what? It is the positive electrode means what, guys? Anode. Oxygen is a what? Negative. So anion, anions will come at the anode. So what is the correct option? Anion will come at the anode. What is the correct option? Option? Option D. D. That's what. Next. Some calcium carbonate and dilute hydrochloric acid starts to react. Water is then added to the reaction mixture. What happens to the rate of reaction? Increases or decreases or remains constant? What will happen? Water you are adding. Anywhere water you are adding, rate of reaction decreases or increases? Everybody, dilution. Dilution increases. Increases. Decreases. decreases. So whenever water adds, please remember, it leads to the dilution so that the rate of reaction going to come down. So means in the sense of what is going to happen, everybody? It is the, the rate of reaction is going to decreases. That is what. Next. Barium hydroxide is an alkali. Alkali means what? Anybody? You have 10th class also. Alkali means what? Alkalis. Base is not an alkali. Every base is not an alkali, but all the alkalis are bases. Anybody? Reacting. Alkali means what? Reacting with the both? Yes. Alkalis means what? Soluble bases. Am I right? Everybody, please respond, guys. So, soluble basis is only ways to call it as alkalis. Now, which statement about the barium hydroxide is correct? Anybody? 
it has the greater ph it has a ph greater than 7 in aqueous solution it reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide it reacts with the metal carbonates it turns universal indicator to red first anybody it is alkalis alkalis is a base base means what is the ph value everybody what is the ph value guys Basis pH value greater than seven. Greater than seven. That's all. Even other options you can check it. No need to make it anything. You can directly write it. Understand? So that's what. Next, which two substances form a white precipitate when they are mixed? Double displacement reaction. Make it fast and tell me. I won't say. You have to tell. Which two substances form a white precipitate, Mr. Ashi? Anybody is there in the meeting? Namesake only attending. Ashik, Danishka, nobody is answering. Nitin, Harvignesh. What is the use of attending? You can answer one question at least correct. Nimish, Pugale. Use a Kadayar. Yes, please. Which two substances form a white precipitate when they are mixed? You all know double displacement reactions. Anybody? Barium chloride and hydrochloric acid, barium chloride and nitric acid, silver nitrate and hydrochloric acid, silver nitrate and nitric acid. So white precipitate is coming. White precipitate means the PPT formation of precipitate. So double displacement reactions. So we all know that. Anybody? Double displacement oh, reactions. That reaction also, it has been there in our book, I think. Yeah. Silver nitrate. Silver nitrate. Silver nitrate means what? Everybody. AgNO3. Am I right? Please respond. So silver nitrate reacting with the what? Anybody? White precipitate has to come. Don't know. Silver nitrate with hydrochloric acid. What is the reaction? Anyone? Don't know. Wonderful. What is the reaction, Ra? AgNO3 reacting with the HCl, hydrochloric acid. We are going to get something. Anybody? AgCl silver chloride plus what will happen? HNO3. That's all. That is what we used to call it as AgCl. AgCl, what is the color? Silver chloride is the color of what? What precipitate it is? It is the white precipitate. Unless you know, you cannot answer. I am saying all the equations you need to know and every equation you have to learn also. So please mark it. Sure. Next. There are eight elements in period three of the periodic table. Okay, this is periodic classification. You can avoid it. Next. What are the properties of transition element? This is also not required. Next, which word describes a noble gas? Leave it. Now, which substances conduct electricity when it is in molten? Sodium chloride, naphtha and brass. Molten state they are asking. So, molten state means sodium chloride when it is in molten state. It is ionic compound. Ionic compounds will conduct the electricity when? When it is in a molten state. Am I right or wrong? Everybody? Yes, please. And metal, brass also. So, wherever one is there, that is what it is. So, first option I can eliminate. One option is not there. Here all are there. So, naphthalene will never connect electricity. And brass is also will connect electricity when it is in molten state. So, please remember that. So, that's what. Next. This is an important question. The iron nail is left for a few days in a sealed test tube containing air and water. So, which change in the air in the test tube occurs as the 